welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a third person perspective using U-Spring Arm components. This is part four of a five video series. The three previous parts covered movement and jumping, and the final part will be covering zooming in and out while in third person, as well as switching between first and third person. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So the first thing we want to do is create a new axis mapping. So we need to go up to edit, project settings, scroll down to input, and then we're going to add a new axis mapping. We're going to call it vertical rote. And we're going to bind it to our mouse Y. Now we can go ahead and minimize this and open up our my character script. And we want to start in the header, and the first thing we're going to do is add a new include. And this include is going to be game framework slash spring arm component dot h. And then what we want to do is scroll down to private and add a new function. And this is going to be for our vertical rotation, so we're just going to call it vertical rote and give it a float value. And then we need to add a new property, so U property, and this is going to be our U spring arm component. And we'll just call it arm. And this is all we're doing inside the header, so we can go ahead and go over to our CPP. And the first thing we're gonna do in here is actually get rid of a line of code. We wanna make sure that our camera is no longer attached to our root component, as that gave us a first person perspective and we're switching over to third. So we'll go ahead and comment that out. And then what we wanna do is create our arm and set its default positions. So we'll do arm equals create default sub object. U spring arm component and then for the text we'll give it spring arm and then for its positioning we want to do arm attach to root component and then for its radius we're going to do target arm length and I'm going to set mine to 300. This value is completely subjective and can be whatever you feel best fits your game. And then I wanna give it a default rotation, so I'm gonna do arm, set relative rotation, and give it a F rotator with negative 45 in the pitch and zero in the other two directions. And then I'm going to adjust some of the properties of our arm specifically related to camera lag. And what this camera lag does is provide a smoother transition and it makes it to where the camera isn't jolted by the player movement. However, you don't need this lag for a third person camera, so if you'd prefer not to have the lag, you'll just leave the next couple of lines off. So I'm going to just scroll down a little and then we'll do arm be enable camera lag equals true. And this is for the movement of the camera lag. I'm going to do both movement and rotation lag. But for the movement, we want to go ahead and set the speed that we want. So we're going to do camera lag speed. And I'm going to give it two. And what the speed does is just controls how quickly the camera is going to reach its target. And then I also want to adjust the max distance. So this is going to be camera lag max distance and I'm going to set it to 1.5. And the camera max distance is simply just the max distance the camera can lag behind the current location. And these properties just provide you some control over the lag so the player can't end up disorienting themselves from too much camera lag. And next is going to be the camera lag rotation. So we're going to do arm be enabled camera lag rotation equals true. We're going to do the same speed and max distance, but for the rotation instead of movement. So arm, camera, rotation, lag speed, and I'm going to give this a four. 
and then we want to do the arm camera max time step and I'm gonna make this a one so if you don't want to have the lag you can leave those last six lines of code out of your script but now we're going to attach our camera to the arm so in order to have the third person perspective you do need this line so we're gonna do cam attach to and we want to attach it to our arm but more specifically we want to attach it to the socket of our spring arm component so we're going to do u spring arm component socket name and by doing this we attach the camera to the end of the arm so that way the camera will stay at the radius of our target arm length now that we've done that we can scroll down to our inputs and bind our new axis so this is going to be input component bind axis and this first argument is the mapping name that we put inside our project settings. So it's vertical root. And then we're going to do this object is what we want to bind it to. And then the function we want to bind it with is a my character vertical root. And all this is saying is whenever our vertical root mapping, which we assign to mouse Y, is used, then call on our vertical root function. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and create the vertical root function. So we'll just scroll down, and it's going to be void a my character vertical root with a float value. And before we do anything, we want to make sure that that value exists. So we're going to do if value. And then inside of this, we're going to actually create caps for our camera. And the purpose of this is to have some control over how much the camera can move. So that way the player doesn't accidentally disorient themselves. So in order to have these caps, we need to see if our new value will bring us over those caps. So the way we'll do that is float temp equals arm get relative rotation. And then we want to get the pitch of this rotation. And then we want to add our new value to it. And now we can take this temporary value that's holding what the rotation will be after we add the value to it. We can check if it's inside our caps. So we're going to do if temp is less than 25 and if temp is greater than negative 65. These are just the caps that I picked for the rotation, but you can have these numbers be whatever you feel best fits your game. And then if these two states are true, then we want to go ahead and add our value to our rotation. So we're going to do arm add local rotation, F rotator, and then we want to do value in the pitch and zero in the other two. And again, all this is doing is saying whenever my mouse Y is moved and a new value is given, check to see what the new rotation of my arm would be and make sure that that rotation is inside my caps of 25 and negative 65. And if it is, you can go ahead and add that value. And if it's not, don't do anything. If you don't want to have the caps, you can just get rid of the temp value line as well as the if function and simply just have the arm add local rotation. And this is all of the coding for this tutorial. So we can go ahead and go back to the scene and compile. And while this is compiling, I just want to mention that we've released an asset pack on the Unity store. I know this is an Unreal tutorial, but you can use the models on the Unity store in Unreal. And we also have Unity tutorials as well. So here's a picture of that asset pack. So if you're in need of low poly kids toys and would like to support us, the link for this asset pack will be in the description below. And now that we're done compiling, we can go ahead and test and play. And as you can see, we're in third person. And if I move my camera up, it doesn't go further than this. And if I move my camera down, it won't go further than that. So as a recap, we used a use spring arm component to create a radius at which our camera will sit from our player. And then we used axis mappings and inputs in order for our player to be able to rotate the arm and by extension, the camera. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join our discord and ask them there. The link for that will be in the description below. Once again, if you'd like to support us by buying our assets, the link for that will also be in the description. And some of our other members at Key Smash stream on Twitch around four times a week. So be sure to come check us out there. The link for that will also be in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.